to my channel. It's Gabby. Welcome to another installment of Halloween Week 2020. This is day three, Euphoria Halloween. Let's get started. Starting with my rare beauty, always an optimist, mist, just to hydrate and prep the skin. And then I'm also helping the eyes a bit. My eyes are getting a little bit sensitive, the skin. I've also refilmed this look about three times, so hydrating the eyes. And then going in with my MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot, per usual, blending that out. And going in with ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Frenchie. Now, do as I say and not as I do. I feel like, one, this stains the lids, and two, I feel like this made my eyes hella sensitive. So just be aware what you put next to your eyes and what it's meant for. I would recommend the Makeup Forever Artist Pencils. Those are meant to be used on the eyes and the mouth. So consider that over this one. This one is very inexpensive and it does work super well. This worked as an excellent base. My makeup did not budge on my eyes until I washed it and even then it still stained my eyes. But um, this was a pretty good little trick. I'm taking a little lip brush and just buffing out the outer corners, smoothing out the lines and then just rubbing that in, patting off any of excess. Going in with my Morphe Picasso palette, this thing has come in clutch. I'm using the red color and with my fingertip and the use of this little brushy here, I'm just applying that color and setting that lip pencil with the powder eyeshadow. All right, I finished off one eye and now we're gonna do the other eye. It is later, the lighting has changed. I had dinner and now here we are. So I'm going in with this Desi X Katie X Dose of Colors Friendcation Palette, going in with the black shimmery color. And I'm just going to pretty much add a singular line from the end of that red graphic liner all the way to the inner corner of my eye, making an exaggerated wing and kind of doing a little bat wing almost taking that color into the crease just ever so slightly. This color is really pretty because because that sparkle does stay on there. So just smoking that out and then going in with my Rare Beauty eyeliner and adding the baby's wing. Again, just going right on the edge and making a little baby wing. Smudging that red color on my lower lash line and also smudging the same black eyeshadow that we were using on the outer corner and the inner corner, leaving the center of my lower lash just with the red. Curling my lashes and applying some lash primer from the Sephora collection. This is a needed step for me, adding lash primer nowadays. I really feel like it makes a difference. Like, look at those lashes. Going in with my little Milk Kush mascara. I need to get a regular size of this, but for now, I have this baby size and it shall do. Also just touching up the brows with that as well. So the eyes are pretty much done. Now I've put this Rare Beauty concealer all over my face and I wanted to show you how I put it along my under eye since my under eyes are already done. Getting really nice and close up there and just using my finger to work that in. I'm gonna set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm also just going to touch up the red and black eyeshadow as well under there. And then we're gonna move on to the crosses. I use my tattoo liner from KVD Vegan Beauty and it doesn't have to be super perfect. It's actually better if they're a little like scratchy looking, but essentially we're gonna make the little crosses here and then I'm gonna go in with my Bodyography Pressed Glitter Pigment in Halo and I'm gonna scratch off a little bit and use some Inglot Duraline to make a little paste to make my own glitter liner. This is my favorite tool. You don't need all the fancy glitter liners from like Urban Decay and stuff. If you have an Inglot Duraline, you can make any powder glitter eyeshadow you have into a glitter liner. Here I am just frustrated because my phone ran out of battery, so I'm just screen recording on my computer. This is a whole thing, but I liked the vibe of this border, you know? But I'm just gonna do the lips right now. So we put some lip balm on and then I'm going in with Frenchie again to just overdraw my lips just slightly and we're going to fill the lips in with Frenchie as well. I'm then going in with my Bite Beauty Lip Crayon in Red Velvet and topping that off. And then I'm going in with my ColourPop Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner in this black. Now I should have blotted my lips 
to make them a little bit more mattified so that the eyeliner didn't blend so easily with the lipstick, but everything blended together and I kind of lost the red. But anyway, it's not an exact, you know, replica of the Euphoria look. It's just uh, paying homage to it, you know? I really liked this look. It was super easy. It was really long lasting and I just loved how affordable it was. I didn't really need to buy anything that I didn't already have. So, you know, for next Halloween, this would be a cute look to wear to a party, hopefully. Hopefully. So here I am adding the Dose of Colors Hot Fire Liquid Lipstick. It made it a little bit more orangey, but you know what? This is the third time I'm doing this look, so we're just gonna go with it. I'm topping that off with the Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is from their holiday collection last year. And once the lips are done, the look is done. Again, I had some trouble shooting this, so forgive me for this random border, but I gotta work with what I got. But other than that, mi gente, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying my Halloween series so far. I'm putting a lot of work into them. It's been a lot of fun, but I've had to reshoot a lot and it's, it's tested my patience, but I set a goal and I'm gonna meet the goal, if not just for myself. <laughs> but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more. Follow me on Instagram at GoGabbyGabby for some behind the scenes and some reels featuring each of these looks that I've posted so far. And other than that, mi gente, just remember to take a breath, drink some water. I believe in you and I'm sending you so much light, paz, and mucho, mucho, mucho amor. Hasta la próxima. See you in tomorrow's video.